All right, so we're supposed to find on 6, 3, 51, the six trig functions if the sine of the angle is 2 thirds and the tangent is less than 0. Well, since sine squared of the angle plus cosine squared of the angle always equals 1, then 2 thirds squared, 4 ninths, plus cosine squared of the angle has to be 1. So 4 ninths from 9 ninths, the cosine squared theta would have to be 5 ninths. Taking the square root, we get the cosine of theta has to be plus or minus the square root of 5 over the square root of 9. But if the tangent is going to be negative, less than 0, and the sine's positive, and tangent sine over cosine, the cosine better be negative. So we now know the sine, the cosine, so the tangent would be 2 over the square root of 5, negative square root of 5, and that makes it less than 0. And then sine's reciprocal, the cosecant, will be 3 halves. Cosine's reciprocal would be secant, or negative 3 over the square root of 5, and the cotangent of the angle would be the reciprocal of this, negative square root of 5 over 2. Okay, now what if the tangent was 1 third? Well, the tangent is the sine of the angle over the cosine of the angle, so that could be minus 1 over 3, but they both could be over a common denominator. And just like we were doing before, if we were at minus 1, uh, minus 1 in the sine and 3 in the cosine, we wouldn't be on the circle. We'd be too far out. So we have to pull it back. So... The sine can't be one minus 1 and the cosine 3. They're too big. We have to shrink them down. So let's find out how far that would be if we went 3 in the x and minus 1. So 3 squared would be 9. One, minus 1 squared would be 1. And then we take the square root. So we got the square root of 10. That's how long that is. So we're going to have to divide both of these by the square root of 10. And now that squared plus that squared would equal 1, which is what it needs to be. And the sine has to be greater than 0, so this would have to be plus, and this one have to be minus to keep the tangent there. So the sine would have to be minus, uh, plus, one over the, plus 1 over the square root of 10, and the cosine minus 3 over the square root of 10, and so we're here. All right. But we now know what the sine is. We know what the cosine is and the tangent. So the cotangent is going to be the reciprocal, minus 3. Sine is going to, uh, sine reciprocal, cosecant of theta, is going to be square root of 10. And cosine's reciprocal, secant, is going to be square root of 10 over 3 with a minus. Sine of 40 over cosine 40. Well, that's just another name for tangent of 40. So tangent of 40 minus tangent of 40, 0.